In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get easy penetration kills in Modern Warfare 3. But quickly, before we do get into today's video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications. Turn on to miss any more videos on the channel. I'm trying to hit 25k, and if you can help, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up, and let me know if you've got any more questions in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay, guys, so penetration kills in Modern Warfare 3 can be kind of frustrating to get. And as you can see, I did it last night to get forged on one of my sniper rifles. And as you can see, I had to get 15 penetration kills with this. And when I first started off, I found it really, really difficult until I actually worked out the best maps and the best areas to actually do penetration kills. And I've done about five to six every single game once I'd actually worked out. I was doing one or two a game. Then I managed to just do loads every single game and it didn't take me that long at all to get done. So I'm seeing a lot of people say the best game mode for this is to play on war. Um, and it's not a bad game mode if you do want to go and play war. However, I just find that not many people are really behind walls that often. A lot of people are just sort of running around in the open and you don't seem to get that many opportunities to get penetration kills. Whereas when I was doing it in multiplayer, there was a lot of different little methods and ratty sort of tips than different things that you can actually see completely through through but they count as wall bangs so i'm gonna jump into a couple of games and show you the best maps for it and the best maps in my opinion were terminal and uh high rise they were the two best maps that i had done this on because there's two very good spots on both the maps that make it very very easy to get penetration kills so let me jump into a game of each and show you exactly where you want to be doing these Okay, guys, so we're going to start off here on high rise and let me show you a couple of good spots in high rise to actually get this done. I'll show you at the end as well the loadouts you want to be running that's going to make this much, much easier that I didn't actually do myself. But in, for a start, all of this right here, all this metal uh, cladding stuff right here is actually wall bangable. So you can actually shoot through all of that, meaning if you are in a situation like this where your opponents are spawning this side, you can wait till one of them appears there, drop back to here and try and wall bang through that. And that is going to give you a wall bang kill. And the way you'll know that it doesn't is when you get the XP come up for a kill, it will literally say wall bang. That's how you know it's counting towards the camo. Uh, these bricks can be wall bangable, but you have to just sort of grab right on the edge. That's the only way it works. So going for this metal stuff here is much, much easier. If someone's head glitch in there and they push into there, you just want to try and judge where they are. Or like I said, I'll show you a really good way to know exactly where they are in just a moment. But you can then just shoot through that and you will be getting a wall bang kill. However, this isn't the best spot on this map. The best spot on this map, guys, is through these metal fences. So if someone's through there, you can see them clearly. It's going to count as a wall bang. Same again with these metal fences here. Uh, if we do come down, my favorite spot was like this sort of area. For some reason, them ones don't count. But these ones and the ones I just showed you a second ago do. So if anyone's in this sort of area of the map, you can shoot them through there. And again, it's going to count as a wall bang kill. Again, as long as that wall bang no notification does come up on your screen it is going to track towards your camos so this entire fence from this green bit until the end there is going to count as a wall bang and then like i said if we do take a look here as well all of this fence right here is going to count as a wall bang as well so it doesn't really matter what side your opponents are spawning on you have got a bit of fence that you can shoot through i did also find that shooting from this side uh, into that other side worked much more consistently than if i was shooting from this side to that side and that works on both fences again if i was shooting people through this side of the fence it didn't work as well it did still work again remember it's this part of the fence for some reason this part doesn't seem to count it's only this part of the fence that does count so make sure you're doing it on this part and it is going to make it much much easier and like i said i would just sort of sit in this little spot down here or i'd jump myself up onto these barrels and just because then you're not too visible from there but you get a nice clear sight on who is running through there which makes it much much easier and like i said you can completely see them you don't even need the little trick that i'm about to show you to do this you can quite simply just see them through this fence you can kill them through it and it is going to count as a wall bang and the final spot that I did find that worked on this map as well, guys, was actually on this building here. So again, if you are, if the only enemies are spawning there, if you can get the, the information that I'm about to show you in a moment to work, you can wait for people to run out there. You're going to be able to ping them, and then you can just stand behind this wall, track them through the wall with the ping, and shoot them through that wall. And again, that is going to count. They were the three best spots that I found, but obviously the two fences are obviously the easiest because you can completely see through them, which makes them so much easier. And this, these fences do work on other maps as well. So if you ever see any of these metal fences on any of the other maps, just set yourself up so that you're looking through it and get kills through it. And I'm sure a lot of them will work like i said for some reason this one doesn't work but that one does so make sure you're doing that fence and that fence but let me jump onto terminal and show you the best spots there 
Okay, guys, so now we are over here on Terminal, and there are actually some very good spots on this map as well that are pretty easy to track your enemies. And the first one is this little spot. So if you spawn exactly where I've spawned, majority of your enemies are going to push this right-hand side. And what you're going to want to do is actually track them, work out where they are, and shoot them through these little chairs on the caddy thing. And that is going to give you a wall bang. Not only is there one there, if we do quickly come to this side as well, you can also shoot them through this one as well. So if they're over in that corner, again, line them up through there, smash them through there, and you are going to get that done. Another place that's wall bangable is this little counter. It is going to take a couple more shots because it's quite a thick wall. Um, if you're using a sniper, it might take you two shots. So you're going to be able to shoot them through the wall, especially if they're laying down or sitting in that corner. And if they've got hard point, there's a lot of times they'll sit in these rooms and you can actually shoot them through that door. If you've got a UAV, you'll know exactly where they are and you can pop them that way. Also, if we do continue to come round the map as well, guys, uh, we are going to, again, have a couple more wall bangable areas. This counter is also wall bangable, as well as this um, little thing here within uh, this little area. So if you can shoot through there, that's also going to count. Again, if we come from this side, this used to be a really good spot in like the old CODs as well. If you know your enemy team are coming through there, you can actually wall bang straight through that and it's going to go straight through and get the kill. Um, but yeah, Terminal's also got a couple of good spots. My personal favorite was 100% high rise. I got most of mine done in high rise. It just works very, very well. I mean, if you wanted to, you can sort of sit in this window and then line them up and shoot through that window on the plane or any of the blacked out windows you can shoot through to count as wall bangs. So Terminal does have a few good spots as well. But like I said, those metal fences are basically the perfect spot and once again the final spot is this little desk here you can shoot through that top area with a one shot as well with snipers so that's another great spot but let me show you the perks and stuff you want to be running to make this challenge so much easier for you guys Okay, guys, so the final thing that I'm going to say to be able to do this nice and easily is when you are actually playing the game, there's a perk that you want to be running. You want to come to the gear, and what you're actually going to want to do is use the threat identification system. And while ADS, this automatically pings enemy locations in crosshairs. So as soon as you see an opponent, they're actually, if they run into a bit of cover, it's going to ping them above their head. So you're going to know exactly where they are behind that bit of cover, which is going to make getting these kills super easy because you're going to know exact, their exact location. So if they go behind a wall, you can shoot straight through that wall and you are going to be able to kill them. And the last thing, guys, is when you are doing this, if you come to your gunsmith, you're going to come to your ammunition type and you are going to be going for the armor-piercing ammunition. And as you can see, this is going to increase bullet penetration, meaning it's much easier to... It's going to do much more damage through the walls. It's going to be able to hit your opponents through a lot more walls as well. A lot of the thicker walls it can be do, doing damage through as well. But that, guys, is the easiest way to get penetration kills in Modern Warfare 3. The video has helped you out. Smash thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel with notifications. Turn off your everything. I'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.